Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Kiran. So recently I went on a no wheat, no grain diet for 30 days and in this video I'm sharing how that changed my life and made me quit gluten and grains for good, the unexpected health benefits I noticed along the way and I'll also share some suggestions, my two cents, things to do if you choose to take on a similar 30 day challenge. So a few months back, I had an idea to do sugar detox and 10 day into my sugar detox, I thought to myself, well, let me also add grains to this because I was just curious if eliminating both sugar and grains would make any difference. Now I was diagnosed with gluten intolerance in 2013 and I knew that gluten, grains, wheat were not good for my overall health. But it wasn't until this experiment, this 30 days, that I finally understood and saw how much they were negatively impacting my body. So when I say no grains, that means no wheat, no rice, no white flour, no spelt, no barley, and no gluten-free flour for 30 days. And I know it sounds stringent, but since I was doing it only for 30 days, I thought to myself, I can handle this. Now, my primary motivation in doing this experiment and eliminating grains was that I wanted to get to the root cause of my digestive ailments. Because no matter what, every few days, no matter what I ate, I would end up getting bloating. And this had been going on for a while and I was just tired and I wanted to address this issue for good. Now, prior to doing any 30 day experiment, I always like to do a lot of research just because I want to know what I am getting myself into. And so for this experiment, you know, I checked out a number of books on Amazon. Like if you look for gluten related books, there are tons of options. And the book that I leaned upon during this experiment was Grain Brain by Dr. David Perlmutter. Now, right off the bat, the cover of this book made a huge impression on me. Like I thought to myself, if this is what eating grains is doing to my brain, then quite honestly, I'm happy not having them in my diet. Now, aside from the cover, the content and the information in this book is something every person can benefit from regardless whether they are gluten intolerant or not. This book is worth checking out and I honestly can't recommend it enough because every chapter in this book is backed by scientific research. There are links to research journals and studies, all of them pointing to how gluten and grains negatively impact our brain. So I'll be honest with you, the first few days on no grain were challenging, but every single time my mind wanted to reach out to that piece of bread or that piece of cake or pasta or any other product that had gluten in it, I would bring up the cover of this book. And then I would think about my brain and I would tell myself, no, I am sticking to this protocol. And you know, this really goes back into tapping into your why. Like for me, my why going into this experiment was that I want my fun brain to function at an optimal level. I want the best functioning brain. I want brain at peak performance. Why? So I can advance in my meditation practice. Because if you are a meditation student like me, very quickly you understand all the magic happens right here. So that was one of my strongest whys, even more so than healing my gut. And which is why it made it easier to stick with this protocol. So make sure you have a strong why because then you won't be tempted to cave in. Now three days into no sugar, no grain detox and my bloating disappeared completely. And it's been three months since I quit grains and to this date, I have not had even a single day when I was bloated. The other shift I noticed from this diet was on my overall dental health. Like prior to this experiment, I was noticing tons of plug around my teeth. But ever since I quit sugar and grains, my teeth feel a lot more stronger and also no plug. But the surprising thing I noticed was that no matter what I eat, even onions, even garlic, I don't get bad breath. The other thing I noticed was the impact this diet had on my tongue. So I was reading somewhere recently that our skin and tongue are the first signpost of our overall health and wellness, meaning that if these two are healthy, our body is healthy. Now, ideally, the color of our tongue should be pink. 
And if the color of your tongue is anything but pink, you might want to look into that. So a quick backstory prior to doing this experiment, and this will sound like TMI, so forgive me for that. But every so often I would notice that after my meals, I would notice a white coating on my tongue. And I used to think, oh, this is maybe probably because I had some dairy product and maybe everyone has experiences this and it's normal. Turns out it's not normal because what happened is few weeks into this diet, into this 30 day no grains protocol, I started wondering, well, why don't I have that white coating on my tongue like I used to have before? Like, why does my tongue always stay pink no matter what I eat? That's when I started doing research. I found out that the white coating on the tongue is actually a sign of bacterial overgrowth and digestive overload. And this is something I would not be even aware of if it wasn't for this experiment. The other shift I noticed in my overall health was a relatively calm mind and a focused mind. Like I could focus for long hours without getting distracted and without that afternoon slump in the energy. So that was quite wonderful. Another interesting thing I observed was that ever since I eliminated sugar and grains, I noticed that my food gets digested a lot quicker. Like where before it would take anywhere from three to four, even five hours to digest food. Now it's more like an hour, hour and a half tops. Now during the 30 days of my experiment, I also lost a dress size, but more so I lost weight around the belly area. So that was a welcome shift. Now all these results, you know, when you combine them together, they pack quite a punch. And which is why it was so easy to say goodbye to grains, to gluten for good. And if you are thinking, Kiran, don't you miss eating pizza or cake? The answer is no, because there are so many alternatives. Like if I have to make pizza, then I reach out for cauliflower crust. If I have to bake cake, then I reach out for coconut flour or almond flour. So again, you know, in this day and age, the gift is that any recipe that calls for gluten, thankfully there are hundred options that you can explore. So I really never feel that I am missing out on anything. Now, one question that often comes up, I know I had it for the longest time is, well, if you quit eating grains and sugar, what else is left to eat? The truth is there is tons of options for you to choose from because when you eliminate these two food groups, which is sugar and grains, you naturally gravitate towards more proteins, more fats, and even vegetables. You kind of start eating the real food. Now, if my sharing has resonated with you and if you would like to try on a similar 30 day experiment, then my number one suggestion is really get clear with your why because you will need it in those first 10 days of the detox. The other thing is really take time to educate yourself because I feel when we consciously understand why we are doing some protocol, why we are making this change, why we are eliminating something, then it just becomes a lot more easier to stick with the protocol. So two books that I would highly recommend is number one, I already mentioned Grain Brain by Dr. David. The other one is Weed Belly. Again, both these books have excellent backing of scientific research papers. So if you are someone who likes to dig deep into information, these two books are a great place to start. And on Amazon, you will find thousands of reviews of both books. So again, highly recommend them and worth your time. So my next suggestion is that before doing this 30 day experiment, really take time to understand how insulin works in the body. So as you know, insulin is a hormone and as long as insulin is present in the body, your body cannot lose weight. And guess what spikes insulin in the body? Sugar and grains. Now there are some excellent YouTube videos that explain this whole mechanism. I have put a link to some of them in the description below. So whenever you have time, do check them out. My next suggestion, and you might chuckle at this one, is have an answer ready before you start this 30 day experiment of what you're going to say when your loved ones or family members or even friends call you and ask you to eat something that has gluten or grains in it. Like every time someone asks me, hey, why are you not eating this? Or would you like to try something that has gluten or grains in it? I would say, no, thank you very much. I am doing the 30 day detox. And this is the reason this book, I would show them a copy of this book. 
that this is the book that tells me that I am better off without grains and gluten. Another thing I will add is a note about fruits. If you decide to do a similar 30-day experiment, then make sure you stay away from fruits, especially those with high sugar content, because again, sugar will spike the insulin, making it difficult for you to lose weight. And if you must, try to stick to no more than one fruit a day. You know, during the course of my research, I came across a video by a doctor and he said, I'm paraphrasing here, he said something on the lines of, most people don't know how good they can feel in their bodies until they actually do. He said a lot of people think that having bloating or autoimmune disease or even achy joints is normal. And he said, actually, it's not. And personally, for me, this 30-day protocol showed me just that. Now, if you decide to do a similar 30-day experiment, let me know in the comments below how it went for you, what you learned from it, what benefits you noticed. I always look forward to hearing your comments, your feedback in the description below. And I hope the suggestions in this video were helpful. As always, please only take what resonates. Discard the rest. Thank you so much for your time, and I will see you in the next video.